faces in front of Gristidi's one freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some fur loops he dropped by the curb. And I made some remark how his smile was superb. He thought that was sweet and I started to go. When he said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? Because I'll be here at the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at 7. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved, and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, mostly to see if he'd show. There he was, out in the cold, with his jacket full tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight. And the next week we went to this terrible play. And the week after that, drank hot chocolate all day. When suddenly eight or nine months had rolled by, when he said, hey, what you do in the rest of your life? Because I'll be here right beside you as long as you want me to be. There's no question. There is nothing I've wanted so much in my life. This may sound immature, but I'm totally sure you're the one. And it had just begun. We got hitched in September, our favorite month, at a rock band that played at this old synagogue. And we got an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. Our first anniversary came in a flash, and we promised to take the day off. He had to stop into his office that morning, and so I was walking uptown to this bakery I know, when I heard on the street what I thought was a joke, till I noticed the sirens and saw all the smoke. So I'm running back home with this feeling of dread to the voicemail he left with the last words he said. I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin your evening by bringing up all of this stuff. You're probably wondering why I even called you tonight. Well, today something happened that spooked me all right. I saw this storm cloud of papers fall down from the sky, and I thought of that day, and I started to cry. And as sure as I breathe, I heard John clear as day saying, hey, you're allowed to move on, it's okay. Because I'll be here, even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater. When you start going back to the places we went to, instead of sitting at home, letting all of life's moments pass by. You don't have to cry, because I'll be here. When you start going back to the places we went to together When you take off my ring and you let yourself smile When you meet someone patient and handsome and true When he says that he wants to be married to you When you call him one night and he meets you downtown And you finally answer him yes Yes, Jason, I will marry you I will give you my heart. It has taken so long, but I'm ready to start. Right now, John is whispering congrats in my ear, because I finally let myself tell you that I will be here.